Hi, welcome to eBlock. This is where we offer our science courses and our maths courses. You'll also find us in C Block for electronics and over in D Block for nursing. But I'm here to show you the physical sciences and biological sciences. So, follow on. We use lots of practical work in our science courses to help teach you the content. We also have lots of help available in our tutorial sessions, so you can come and get a hand with any of your homework, your assignments, and prep for the exams. Ah, so here is a physical sciences class in their natural habitat. Physics is the study of matter and its position in space and time. Chemistry is the study of matter, but also how different sorts of atoms combine to make new substances. So both of them together give you a really good overall understanding of the universe. So if you're interested in that sort of thing, you might be interested in studying physical sciences as a subject. This particular class here is a level three physical sciences class. You can also do physical sciences at level two. If you do that, you won't have to do an exam, it's just lots of prac work and you'll do half a year of physics and half a year of chemistry. The level two class is a really good preparation for the level three class if you're feeling a little bit unsure about your maths and science. Again, half physics, half chemistry, but physical science is three. You have an exam at the end of the year. That is a prerequisite for both our physics and our chemistry classes. All right, let's go and see if we can find a chemistry class and a physics class. Follow me. As well as being lots of fun, chemistry is a prerequisite for lots of courses at university, so make sure you check your course requirements to see if you need chemistry or not. Uh, it's a subject that you do in year 12, and remember you can't do chemistry unless you do physical sciences in year 11 and get a CA, which is Bs and Cs. Let's go and see if we can find a physics class now. So physics is really useful for courses like engineering and all the other science courses at university particularly good if you really like your maths. Remember you can't do physics unless you've done physical sciences three in year 11 and you've got B's and C's. It goes really nicely with chemistry, all of the math subjects, or even if you're just interested in how the world works. Okay, here's a biology class in their natural environment. So if you're interested in biology, but you're not interested in doing any exams, then our level two life sciences class might be the one for you. Uh, you'll do lots of great prac work, uh, you'll design your own experiments and you can either use it as a standalone course or to build up your skills to do biology or environmental science in year 12. This biology class is a biology level 3 class, so they're doing an exam at the end of the year. They're learning about living things all the way from the biochemical level all the way up to how the human body fights off disease and ecology, evolution. Again, we do plenty of practical work. We recommend that you have at least a B in year 10 science and English, or save it up for year 12 so that you have time to develop your study skills. This course sets you up really well for any of the biological or general sciences at university. Okay, let's go and see if we can find the environmental science class now. Environmental science is a level three course. They do lots of excursions, but they, so they might not be here, but it looks like they're here today. Environmental science is all about the bigger picture than biology. You'll learn about our local Tasmanian environment, look at climate change issues, and do a case study on the topic of your choice. It's a level three subject, so we recommend that you get at least a B in year 10 science and English, or you might have done life sciences in year 11. There are lots of local guest speakers that we have in, plenty of excursions and regular class discussions and prac work. So if you're interested in how the Tasmanian climate is going and the science around Tasmania, then environmental science might be the course for you. Okay, let's go beyond E Block now, over to C Block, where you might, if you like tinkering with circuits, uh, like to take up electronics too, um, but I will let Cass talk to you all about electronics. Hey, I'm Cass Olive and I teach electronics. Electronics too is a good place to uh, dip your feet in with electronics, making some devices and gadgets. So in both of these subjects, we design some digital and analog circuits. We look at microcontrollers, making some kind of robots, lots of hands-on activities. There is a bit of basic math, so if you've done some year 10 maths, then you'll be right. So if you're interested in perhaps tinkering or if you've enjoyed doing some sort of STEM engineering science subjects, hope to see you all next year. If you're interested in a career in health or perhaps uh, to be a nurse, you might be interested in our introduction to nursing classes, uh, but I will let Matt tell you about those and the nursing classrooms this way. Follow me. 
My name's Matt, I'm the Introduction to Nursing Coordinator. That's the Certificate 3 in Health Service Assistance at Hobart College. Uh, I'm a registered nurse and a teacher. The Introduction to Nursing course has been specifically designed to have a, a range of blended learning opportunities for young people. Within the course, students would look at multiple different aspects of nursing, whether it be starting off with Topic 1, Introduction to Nursing, where they get to understand the basic principles and concepts within the health sector. They then move on to applying that information to the acute care nursing topic where they learn about first aid and how to link it into uh, those sudden and severe illnesses. They then will relate that to the chronic care, our third topic, where they will provide holistic care and look at the notion of individualised care. And finally, if they're into the more advanced course, they might go on to complete topics related to specialised nursing within the youth, paediatrics, mental health, dementia, and disability sectors. Good literacy numeracy skills are very important because uh, there is a lot of literacy numeracy, taking notes, writing reports, and using those math skills when doing your nursing obs or your caring obs. Uh, on top of being a, you know, a fun, happy-going, everyday type of person because no one wants to sit in a bed and just talk about their own health. They want to talk about the broader things. Uh, so I look for students who, in particular, uh, have other interests such as photography, art, uh, sport, so they can talk to their clients about that. So there's multiple different pathways that students could take. They could do my taster one-liner course, which really just gets them an understanding of what the health sector might be. They might go into the more intensive double-line 300-hour course, which really gets them to delve deeply into the content and also go on work placement. Or if they do really well, they could then go into the more intensive advanced introduction to nursing course in their second year, where they would look at paediatrics, maternity, youth mental health and disability, and aged care with a dementia care focus. We have organised for some uh, elderly clients who come up and the students have to engage quite a lot with those clients, learning communication skills, empathy, things that are really important, which also sets them up to go out on work placement. And I send most of my students out on work placement in the local area, whether it be at the Royal or at local aged care facilities. And plenty of those students then go on to even more advanced uh, placements that I offer in my advanced course, whether it be in child and family centres, uh, work, working with in disability or in dementia care specific placements. Or, or maybe they go work in the workforce for a period and they find their own pathway.